Boston Underground. I'm here with King Finn. So how's Free Press treating y'all? So far so good. So yeah, far, so good. actually actually pretty spectacular. Awesome, okay. No, not deterred by the rain or anything? Not at all. I mean, the rain, I, I think for a lot of diehard Houstonians, especially being here, you're already in the festival. You're kind of already used to it. You're going to yeah. get wet in some kind of way, uh, be it sweat or be it <laughs> rain or be it like, you know, somebody spills their drinks on you. That is very uh, true. That is water's very true. water. Uh, <laughs> if anything, I think the rain helped out because it's just so much cooler now. That's true. And we're not, you know, the concrete dries pretty quickly. So I think it helped out yeah. really well. That's awesome. So y'all are Houston based. Did y'all meet each other here? Yeah, or were y'all yes. born here? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we all, met all met each other here. Um, we've all with the, Michael was born in Houston, so he's, yeah. he's the only born and raised. Okay. Um, <laughs> homegrown. Homegrown. Uh, organic. Certified. Uh, but Jacob, how did y'all meet when you all ended up here? It's it's the thing about Houston that any Houstonian can tell you. It it's it's a Huge city disguised as a or small town disguised as a huge city, okay. rather. Um, wow. The the connections uh, that that you have here are are pretty ridiculous. You'll meet somebody for the first time in the most random of places, and after talking for a little bit, you realize uh, you share a best friend from like middle school. <laughs> That's true. Um, so and especially even to this day, Jeremy and Jacob and Mike and myself uh, will will find out that. We, there are people in our past that know us individually that that we that actually happen to know us now and and they freak out as well so it's crazy I really? have a story uh, me and Chris like we pretty much didn't start talking until we joined until I joined the band okay. well, we both uh, took the same karate class in first grade no way <laughs> yeah. it's, that's insane I forgot how long ago that but yeah. we were in the mosh pit together before yeah. we were ever in a band <laughs> so like, all that remains so, really yeah. 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 it really is a small town in a big yeah. city yeah Okay, that's wow. really neat. I never knew that about either of them. Either of them. Wow, that's crazy. We're all learning new things. Yeah. <laughs> Met you on a random day. Yeah. So y'all released an EP about a year ago on SoundCloud. Yeah. How was the recording and producing writing process for that? It, uh, the, we, so we recorded and uh, we put that whole album together uh, with our late guitar player Alan Wynn uh, for, for that. As far as production and getting it ready, all the songs were really his ideas. Okay. Um, that he kind of took a directive lead, which we all contributed to. So you could put on any song on the track. Um, like, let's say this is not the end, and, and I could tell you, uh, oh, the the bridge part was my idea to to put that together. Okay. Uh, so you the, each have a part that's kind of yourself. That's yeah, a little bit. We all we all we put try our... to write together as much as possible and like, okay. collectively bring ideas and kind of filter each other and try to find the balance. So. We all have our own flavors, so even yeah, if you exactly. were to play, have four notes, like Alan would tell us four notes to play, you and I would play those four notes differently in yeah. some sort of way. We would try to have our own little or like flavor. Maybe put some like swells behind it, like you had ambience or something, but we all like, try to bring our own, definitely our own flavor to it. We're each an ingredient in the stew that is King <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Just like, like Houston, that. we're a melting pot. I'm a yeah. potato. <laughs> I'm definitely a potato. Um, but yeah, putting it together, recording was awesome. Um, spread out into into you know different people's closets. Okay. And uh, <laughs> and splayed out in in <laughs> in Alice's in Alice's bedroom or Alan's yes. bedroom, and uh, uh, I think. For, for the quality that it came out, it, our producer, Alan Davis, with uh, Murder on Tape Audio, um, did a killer job making these bedroom recordings yeah. sound like stadium yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. They have a studio now, by the way. They have an actual studio. Yeah, they have an actual studio now. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. So should we, I know y'all released a few songs these past few months. Are you, should we look forward to anything? Are y'all going to release something sometime soon? Another EP We're perhaps? shooting for a release uh, late summer. Really? Okay. EP number two or album number four or number one, depending on uh, how much time we have. Ideas. Well, I guess with this whole digital area, the really the titles of EP and LP are almost, yeah. you know, obs I don't want to say obsolete, but they almost don't mean much anymore. Yeah. We release songs as they become available, like okay. like the dive last year. Like this is a good summer song. Let's just get this out, and then we did. Uh, and we just if it feels good to us, we just kind of release it. I guess whether whatever it's titled, it's just, I guess kind of irrelevant. Yeah, we've we've got a lot of new songs that we've been working on. Um, Going back to, to the, the way that we write, we kind of decided to change a little bit. 
Um, because we didn't have now this directed lead um, and and even and even sort of like give everybody their own spotlight. So uh, what's coming up is 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 five to seven brand new songs, um, each one brought about by one of us individually and then collectively worked on together. Um, I like that. I like that process. And one thing, one thing that's helping us stay pretty excited and, and, and eager to get everything together, even though each song is different, you put them all together and take a look at them from, from, from a couple feet away and they all fit. Yeah. And it like feels nice, really good. cohesive piece. That's cool. And that's rare with, you know, four different people contributing so much to these. I mean, it was five and we still made it work, so I guess it got a little bit more uh, yeah. focused, yeah. I guess, but it's still undeniably kink fan, I think. Yeah. That's very cool. That's all I have for y'all today. I really appreciate you meeting with us. Thank you. This is Mary and Austin, with us, Austin Underground, and this Thanks, is Mary. King Finn. Bye, guys.